and Mo Gaffney, and this is my brother John Gaffney here, and we're in his new group home, which we're, I'm hugely relieved that he's here today and hugely grateful. Um, it took five and a half months for us to be matched with the appropriate service, and it's not like they had to make up the service or invent it. It was here the whole time, this group home bed, and there's many others that are closed throughout, uh, the, throughout BC and the closure of group homes, which has impacted people like my brother. We're just very, very lucky that we had the attention of our MLA, Jenny Kwan of the NDP, and she pulled in the NDP leader, uh, Adrian Dix, and Nicholas Simons to help us push this through and get the attention that we needed and get the appropriate service for my brother. We have to unite and come together and the government needs to listen to the families. <laughs> There's way too many people that are not getting the proper service now. My brother's case was only unique because he was in an acute care setting at $1,000 a day, and that's what made the difference. We're going to try to sort of recover as much of his old skill set that he used to have and uh, help him adapt to this new life. Somewhat, a lot more independence than he had in the hospital, but somewhat less than he's had in his life previous. Nice to meet you. Thanks a lot. Welcome home.